uh, wash my hands, dried them, putting on some gloves. And what we have at the Institute, we have a package that includes most of our uh, supplies that we'll use for the IUD insertion. Separately, we have a syringe with some lidocaine. Some of your sites might not use this. And we have a sound dilator as well for the tray. And the IUD device itself will come separately. So now we're going to open up the packaging. I put it down here and I think about, I'm going to set up my tray so that the uh, handles are facing me when I am uh, facing the patient. I'm going to have two sides of my tray, clean side, closer to the patient, and my sterile side further from the patient. Put my ID to the back so I don't inadvertently contaminate the tray while I'm opening it up. And I carefully open it up. It's better when it's just one or two pieces of tape so that I can carefully open the packaging. The inside of this packaging is sterile. Pull it down to the sides, making sure, just pulling down gently so that I can see what's the outline of my tray. I'm using the, the cup to delineate the sterile versus non-sterile sides of the tray. A non-sterile side is going to be closer to the patient. I'll pick up my speculum, again just touching a small piece of it, open up the bills, place them in the corner of the non-sterile side of my tray. Anything that's going inside the uterus or uh, holding onto the cervix goes to the sterile side of my tray. So I'm just gently holding on the top of the, the cup and moving my tenaculum over to the sterile side of my tray. Um, I like to put the handles towards the non-sterile side so when I pick it up, I don't inadvertently contaminate the sterile side of the tray. I take out the gauze and I take one gauze only, fold it up into four pieces, to four parts, excuse me, put it on my ring forceps. I'm going to use that to gently wipe the cervix, but I don't want it too big to not irritate the vagina. Put some iodine to wipe the cervix on that. I'm going to get some gel, the gel in the corner of my tray right here. I'm going to use that both for my finger when I do the bimanual exam and for the speculum. If I'm collecting a pap or getting a gonorrhea chlamydia probe, any of that I can put on the clean side of my tray. The last two pieces I have, we have our syringe with lidocaine that I like to place just underneath the drape. And then I have the sound dilator that I'm going to gently drop, and this is the last thing that I open up, onto the sterile part of my tray. I have to be very careful not that the packaging doesn't touch um, the tray. I open it up, hold it with the packaging on the outside, and very carefully drop it onto the sterile part of my tray. So now I have a tray set up. All the handles are facing me as I face the patient, clean side towards the patient, sterile side distal to the patient.